Well, warmer is the new normal in Phoenix and our new average temperatures show that there's been a warming trend in both our daytime highs and our overnight lows. And we know that those overnight low temperatures are impacted both by climate change and urban development. But there is research happening right here in the valley that could help mitigate the heat island and new technologies that could make a difference in how we cool our cities in the future the asphalt you drive on be key to a cooler future. That's the idea behind this stretch of roadway in the Garfield district south of downtown Phoenix. No city has tried this before the way Phoenix is trying this. And so we're really leading in that space globally. This is one of eight neighborhoods in the valley where an asphalt sealant product called Cool Seal is being tested as a method to mitigate our urban heat island. The goal of the Cool Seal is to be able to reflect more of the sun's energy back into space essentially and therefore not being uh, absorbed and retained into the urban fabric. Jennifer Vanos is an assistant professor at Arizona State University and one of the researchers looking at the benefits and potential effects of this product. So far they've found that the surface temperature of the asphalt coated by the cool seal is 16 degrees Fahrenheit lower than the asphalt covered by traditional seals. The air temperature above the asphalt is cooler too by about 0.44 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that doesn't sound like a lot. Um, and it's not something our body would necessarily be able to feel, but one of the goals we have over the coming year is to be able to take those numbers for each neighborhood and do calculations on what that means for energy use and what that means for water use and what that does mean potentially for human health. It gives us one other strategy for cooling the city. David Saylor is the director of urban climate research at ASU. He says the cool seal can help reduce how much of the sun's energy is absorbed, but there's also new technology that could actually cool the surrounding air even further. It's known as passive radiative cooling material, which both reflects and radiates energy. These surfaces are actually cooler than the air temperature at all times. It's a game changer of sorts in the ability to cool our cities because even a white surface on a rooftop that, you know, that we're overlooking right here, though those white surfaces still remain a little bit hotter than the air temperature during the day. So they're adding heat to the environment, not as much as a dark surface, but they are adding heat. If we replace that white surface with a passive radiative cooling surface, uh, it would actually be below air temperatures at all times, and that would allow us to further cool the environment. These innovations could allow for heat island mitigation strategies to be implemented on a wider scale, even in our own homes. Here's an example. You know, this one's basically black, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a traditional black coating on asphalt, it's going to reflect four or five percent of the sun's energy. This reflects 40% of the sun's energy. While not all of these technologies are on the market yet, Sailor says now is the time to start considering them as part of the future of infrastructure. We have our fate in our own hands. Let's let's take advantage of that. And, and the more that we can make our cities livable, thriving communities, uh, the better we, we, we sort of guard against the risk of, of flight away from our cities. So while these technologies could really make a difference in how we experience and mitigate the heat right here in the valley and in other cities, Sailor does say that it's important that we always look at not just the benefits, but also the adverse effects that some of these technologies could bring so that we make an informed decision as we continue to develop and grow our cities.